Well, I think Lou was special to St. Mary's just because she touched so many different people. She was just a a good person. She she cared about other people. She cared about how the team uh, was doing. She cared about uh, about her performance. And I think when you get all all three of those things, uh, you have a really good person slash uh, student athlete. Within her first year here, she was the the single season. Uh, record holder for shot blocks. She was the conference record holder for shot blocks. And then throughout her, I want to say after her second or third year, she led the NCAA in block shots. And uh, she had the record for some time. And then uh, somebody from Baylor came along that was 6'8", six, 6'9", six, and uh, took, has the record now. But uh, she was just tremendous sense of timing. It wasn't just because she was 6'4 and long. She had a tremendous sense of timing. Uh, and then offensively, she was just extremely gifted. She could score the ball from the mid-range. She could shoot the ball uh, anywhere uh, in the paint with, uh, had tremendous touch and had uh, a lot of different uh, offensive skill sets that, uh, that helped grow, grow our program. She was kind of the anchor of our program. She was the person that we uh, could count on to go to, and she did a great job of distributing the ball from the from the inside out. And I think you need that. Uh, you got to have your yeah, have to have everybody that's uh, that's involved. And I think she really did a good job. On behalf of the St. Mary's College Athletic Department and the women's basketball program, I'm honored to induct Luella Tomlinson into the St. Mary's College Athletic Department Hall of Fame. Congratulations, Lou. It's well deserved. How you doing today, Lou? I'm okay. Very colorful. <laughs> Very colorful. We Thank we you. all like that. Uh, we all like that you're a colorful person. I have several questions I want to ask. Um, you came a long way from home, uh, all the way from Melbourne, Australia, to be at St. Mary's College. Um, other than dealing with me on a day-to-day -day basis <laughs> and hearing my voice uh, that I'm sure you still to this day, um, what was your biggest adjustment coming to Moraga from Melbourne? Um, I'd have to say um, I was really homesick my first six months. I still remember it. My sisters who both came to college um, both told me to just stick it out. <laughs> um, I... Always, uh, from the age of seven, my sisters left Australia to come to college. And from a seven-year-old, I used to tell people, oh, when I grow up, I'm going to university in America to play basketball, because that's what girls in my family did. Um, <laughs> I was seven. Um, but, um, yeah, like, so for me, coming here was always a dream. Um, making my own mark in basketball was always my dream um, and what better place to do it than on that court over there. And she did really uh, make many, many marks on that court. Uh, off the court, uh, academically, culturally, spiritually, I mean, there's so many things, but uh, what do you treasure most just about your entire experience about St. Mary's College? My mum told me not to cry. <laughs> um, um, for me, coming here, in the beginning, it was never about the education. <laughs> um, it was about playing college basketball. And obviously, I did that and gave it my best shot. Um, but I didn't realise that coming here was going to give me so much more. I grew as an adult, be, I became an adult in those four years. I grew so much as a person. I met so many amazing people um, who are supporting me here today. Um, I have, um, Leanna's here representing my team. I've got Coach Thomas here with me. I've got the little Lavex who, um, I played with their daughter Alyssa and they just took me into their home and gave me a family when I was so far away from mine. I've got Ted and Vicky who were my scholarship supporters. Um, I've got the Philippex down the back there and so many amazing people in this room who supported me in every single game and Dave 
um, used to tell me my stats at the e end of every single game. <laughs> and, and I'd be like, like, if we lost, I'd be like, don't talk to me, Dave. Like, we just lost. But, um, <laughs> but for me, while I thought it was about coming here to play basketball, it was so much more. And it was, coaches always tell me, you know, you get one opportunity to play with that group of girls. You get one opportunity to be on that, over that sideline with that group of girls. So make the most of it. And for me, coming here and making St Mary's my home for four years, it was about the people I met and the people that really touched my heart and the people that I still think about daily and that made, made this place just amazing and made me coming on campus on Thursday feel like I could take a breath because I was back home. It's awesome, Lou. Very well said. You've been playing geez, your entire life, basically. I remember when I went over there to visit uh, you in your home and your mom showing me pictures when you were uh, a lot less tall. Um, <laughs> but you've created so many basketball memories. You're playing professional basketball right now. Um, can pick out one or two and just uh, tell everybody what's special about it, except the one where I just yelled at you nonstop when we were over in Pacific. So don't, don't tell that story. Um, yeah, obviously there's so many here. Um, one memory that really sticks in my head about St. Mary's was um, my first pre-season conditioning. <laughs> Leanna can, can vouch for this. There was three of us who were freshmen and it was really hell, like nothing I've ever experienced before in my life. I think we all puked, we all like got in trouble for have, needing to go to the toilet during running lines, I don't know. But it was really an emotional four weeks for me, to say the least. Um, my homesick was at an all-time high then. Um, but, yeah, playing overseas, um, I got the opportunity to play a couple of seasons, uh, four seasons in Europe. And I actually won a uh, Hungarian national title with Hungary's best ever player. She was a point guard playing her last season. She was 40 and she was incredible. She actually played in the WNBA um, and we won the national title in front of 5,000 fans but it was pretty much like McKeon playing Gonzaga like men. It was, there was drums, people banging like, I don't know, whatever they could against metal pipes and like we couldn't even hear the coach in a timeout. So for me, that was just an amazing experience. Um, but yeah, I always, now when I'm playing in Australia and I get to play against all the past Gale basketballers, it's like, I, I'm pretty sure I played, played Lauren Nicholson a couple of weeks ago um, and I said to her, because I'm number two, she was, I think, number one. So we end up shaking hands before the game and saying good luck and I was like, May the best gale win. Um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure we won that game. So, <laughs> but uh, but yeah. So she she had a good laugh. But like yeah, as I said, now there's so many Australian girls. I was the first, um, the trailblazer, Coach Thomas's first ever recruit. So if he could handle me, he could handle anyone. <laughs> All right, thank you, Lou, and uh, what a special person you are to the college and to all of us. Thank you very much. Thank you.